from the patient files of Dr. Jeremiah Arkham, director of Arkham Asylum. Patient Garfield Linz, also known as Firefly. The patient suffers from pyromania and pyrophilia. Session 3. So Garfield, how are we doing today? Hmm? Oh come on, I apologized. Can't we just put it past us? You tried to kill me, Doc. But I've already explained. It was Poison Ivy. She made me do it. Yeah, sure, Doc. She did! Anyway, you shouldn't have burned down the park. She's got it in for you now. Hey now, that wasn't my fault. That was the Batman. He butted into my little operation, messed everything up. Try telling that to her. Yeah, best keep her out of my way, Doc. Or I won't be responsible for what happens. We've got her in solitary. She won't be out for a long time, so don't worry. But enough about Isley. We're here to talk about you. Sure, Doc. You got questions? Fire away. Making puns? We've talked a lot about your pyrophilia, your sexual attraction to fires, the driving force behind your criminal behavior. But there's something we haven't talked about yet. Yeah, what's that? You're attracted to fire. But are you attracted to people at all? Are you attracted to women? Have you ever been in a relationship with a woman, Garfield? Or is it strictly fire that uh, gets you off? A woman? Yeah, I was with a woman once. And she attracted you? Yeah, she sure did. Delia, sweet Delia. Delia? Yeah, her name was Delia. Delia Withers. We were neighbors. One day she comes to knocking on my door, looking to borrow some sugar or something. And you know, we uh, just hit it off. Started talking and eventually started dating. And when was this? A couple years ago, before I became Firefly. I see. Did you have sexual relations with Delia? That's none of your goddamn business, Doc. Actually, it is. I'm your psychiatrist and I'm trying to treat your pyrophilia. Knowing about your sexuality and your sexual history is key. So I ask you again, did you and Delia have sexual relations? Yeah. I see. And did you find it pleasurable? What? Did you enjoy it? I understood the question, Doc. I just can't believe you're asking it. Again, Garfield, this is necessary for your treatment. I'm not asking these questions for fun, you know. You do want to be cured of your pyrophilia, don't you? I guess. Good. Then answer the question. Yeah. I enjoyed it. At first. Go on. Well, after a few weeks, I uh, began to wonder. I began to fantasize what it would be like if I, if I set her on fire. Go on. I eventually I just couldn't stop thinking about it. I began to, you know, touch myself while imagining Delia on fire. Oh God. 
It's okay, Garfield. Well, eventually, fantasizing about it wasn't enough. I tied her to my bed, naked. Poured gasoline all over her, all over her body. Then lit a match. I watch her burn, and it was the most beautiful thing I ever saw. The next day I was standing on a rooftop, ready to jump. And I did, I did jump. I couldn't go on living no more. I didn't deserve to live, not after what I did. And you know what happened? The Batman comes a swinging out of nowhere on that rope of his, catches me in midair, stops me from becoming street pizza. The Batman, of all people, the Batman comes to saving me. He should have let me fall. It was after that. I decided to become Firefly. How's that? Well, I was standing there, dumbfounded, looking at this bat fella. A guy dressed up like a bat, swinging round rooftops. And I thought to myself, here's a fella who accepts what he is, embraces it. I realized I had to do the same. I couldn't deny my true nature no more. Screw my remorse and Screw all the haters. I was Firefly, damn it. And do you still feel that way? I don't know. Part of me, maybe. But part of me's thinking it's gone too far. That's good, Garfield. That's good. I want you to listen to that latter part. Because this is not your true nature. It is simply an illness. One that can be cured. You don't deserve to die either. No one deserves to die for being ill. As for Batman, I can't speak for him, but he probably needs help too. Needless to say, he's not a very good role model to follow. Well, I do believe our time's up. I feel we made some progress this time, Garfield. Wouldn't you agree? You're the expert, Doc. Mm, yes. Well, I'll see you next session.